Good morning, everybody. I am patiently, not very patiently, waiting for my mom to get here to pick me up so we can go get Bruce the Moose, the new Great Dane puppy that she's getting today. It's about a two and a half hour drive from here, probably. We're gonna pick him up and then come back home, so it's gonna be a lot of time in the car. I'm trying to see if I'm gonna have enough time to like go downstairs and do some dancing or something before she gets here, so I think that's kind of what I'm gonna go do after I'm done talking to you guys. It's a fasting day, um, I don't wanna eat today. I feel like this past weekend I just did real bad at fasting, you know, on Saturday I ended up breaking that evening and we snacked around and stuff for my friend's surprise party. And then yesterday, I didn't really eat that well. I don't know, I just feel like I could have done a lot better in my choices and stuff like that. We had brats and I did get some zero carb hot dog buns to have my first brat on that I had for lunch. I don't know, I just, I feel like I need to be doing better and I don't feel like I've been doing very good recently, which this is the most important month for me. This is the month that I wanted to get through more than anything. So hopefully I can get it together and just get through this month and all that stuff. So. Currently, I am trying to see how long I can fast for. I started my timer last night, so now I'm just gonna kind of watch the clock and see, um, you know, where I end up and how long I do and all that stuff. So, another experiment, I suppose, but I do plan on doing a planned 72 hour fast the weekend after my birthday. So it would go from the night of the 21st up until that Wednesday or Thursday morning, just depending on how I'm feeling. All these other extended fasts I'm attempting to do, they're not planned. They're just trying to help me maybe grasp my hunger or get a hold of my appetite and the times that I want to eat and stuff again because I've been all over the place recently. So, you know, there's that. But I'm gonna make me some coffee before she gets here too. So I'm gonna do that. I'll talk to you guys later on this afternoon. We'll have puppy and video pictures. I'm so excited. <laughs> I have to admit, I'm pretty proud of myself for making it through today without breaking because there were a couple times this evening where I was like, in my head, just go ahead and eat, Rachel. It's not the baby, it'll just go ahead and do it. And it's good to have that mindset, but I'm also stubborn and I want to make sure that I'm getting through these fasting days and not just eating just to eat. Um, you know, and it's kind of like I was a little hungry, but it passed and uh, tomorrow I probably will break. I know in my last vlog I talked to you guys about maybe trying to go for a little longer and seeing how long I could go. Or if I don't, then I don't and that's okay too. So I could see myself breaking tomorrow at my normal time. We'll kind of just see how I feel then. But like I said, there was a couple times today that I felt kind of hungry and thought about breaking, but I didn't. But I really want to focus this week on feeding myself correctly and making sure that I'm getting in the right amount of proteins and less carbs, you know, and things like that. Kind of like what I had been doing before this last weekend when the social event started happening again, which is something I'm going to have to really control myself with once they all start really going into full swing. June has always been a really busy month because it's like my cousin's birthday and then friends' birthdays and then my birthday and... We just have a lot going on this month as well. So I just really want to make sure that I'm watching myself at these social events. Maybe I'll make a video about how to handle them. 
and then I'll take my own advice because, <laughs> you know, I'm always one for celebrating, enjoying opportunities and things like that. But when it's every weekend and you're trying to maintain or to lose weight, sometimes those extra calories can add up, um, especially if you're consuming certain beverages and things like that, which I'm not big on doing anyway, but I am a big foodie and if there's delicious looking foods there then I definitely want to try everything so some other things to work on lots of goals lots of things I need to write down and remember to try at least you know to conquer and overcome and you know now that I'm down to where I am I'm at a healthy weight I'm fit I work out all the time I need to make sure that I keep up with healthy habits and not start resorting back to unhealthy habits which I don't think I will especially with as hard as I am on myself about things but just good to keep that kind of mindset and be aware of what you're doing I feel like personally so that's kind of what I'm gonna do but it's late ish it's like 9 30 I'm really tired though uh, I'm ready for bed hoping that I can wake up tomorrow feeling refreshed and do some instacart orders and see how long I can pass for so that's the plan anyway but with that being said I will talk to you guys tomorrow morning. It has been a super disappointing day for Instacart, especially since I took off yesterday to run around and go get the dog and stuff like that. But there has been like no orders today. So I've kind of just been sitting and waiting and waiting and I did one and it's like I haven't even made 10 bucks today. It's really frustrating because you know I'm trying my hardest to save up money and I can't even get any money doing this right now today. So I keep kind of refreshing it to see if there's anything, but I'm on my way home now. And I just wanted to check in with you guys since I haven't talked to you yet today. This morning I did break my fast at about 34 hours because I was hungry and I kind of thought that that was going to happen just from the way I was feeling last night. So I broke it with basically an avocado and then I had a Luna protein bar and some mixed nuts and a little bit of grapes. So that's kind of what I did for breakfast this morning and now I'm on my way home. I'm going to figure out what to do for lunch and uh, do some work and things like that so it's kind of the plan anyway. And surprise surprise I just got an order so I'm gonna turn around and go back to the store I was just at yay <laughs> so um, good I'm glad because I, I was hoping to make a little bit of money today and now I'm gonna be able to so that's good news anywho I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna do lunch uh, you know just kind of play the day by ear and everything I've been trying to do some longer hours with this whole thing just because I'm going to make the extra money and stuff like that anyway so I'm glad that I finally got an order. Let's drive out here and that's what we're doing. I'm gonna let you guys go though so I can pay attention to the road and everything. I'll talk to you guys later on today. I am getting ready to go downstairs and do some exercise for the day since I'm now home after doing the last order that I talked to you guys about. I only did two today which was a bummer but tomorrow's a new day and I still have a little bit of time to make some extra bling if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> Whenever I came home, I had lunch. I ended up heating up a couple of the crab cakes that I got from Aldi a while back. Um, they're frozen. They're not technically the best thing that I would like to eat, but they've been in the freezer. They need to be eaten. I'm not gonna just throw them away. So I heated them up in my air fryer and they were actually pretty good. You know, they were all right, about 170 calories a piece. And I also had a leftover salad mix to go with it as well that we had from Sunday. So that was what I ate for lunch. I'm gonna go downstairs and do some fitness martial or a walk on the treadmill or something. I think I'm just gonna do fitness martial for now, burn a little bit of calories that way, and then come upstairs and focus on some other things that I need to do for the day. Yeah, that's what I have planned right now. Anyway, so I'm home, like I said. It's been an okay eat day for me so far. I feel like I need to be doing better, but it's like, I feel like I'm always needing to be doing better and I'm always doing fine. So I'm crazy, I'm, I'm just crazy guys. So ignore me. I'm gonna let you guys go and I will talk to you later on tonight. Well, as you guys can see, my hair is a little crazy right now. It's half curly, half straight. I'm straightening it for tomorrow since I hate getting up in the morning and straightening my hair. So I do it at night before bed. And then if I have to fix it in the morning, then I will. But this is how I've done my hair for ages. So enough about that. But I just wanted to update you guys on today. I'm actually kind of uh, looking back and editing my vlog, this vlog right now as I'm doing this and straightening my hair, multitasking, because I seem to never have a free second. But um, I'm just really, 
thinking about how hard I am on myself. Um, I've had so many kind people reach out to me since the vlog from last week telling me, you know, like, it's okay if you want to change your schedule and do something else. We're still going to watch you. We still love you, support you, you know, all this. And oh my gosh, guys, I cannot tell you how much that actually means to me um, to hear that you guys would still want to watch my videos if I'm not doing just like straight alternate day fasting or 4-3 fasting or whatever it is that it might be. Um, as you guys saw in the last vlog, the reason that I continue to do alternate day fasting is for the autophagy benefits. And somebody actually commented and said that you can actually still get autophagy benefits by doing something like 24 fasting, which is something I might actually look into after the wedding. I think right now I'm just super hard on myself because June is such a big month for me and I'm wanting to look my best like most women do. Um, you know, and so I'm being more hard on myself this month because of that in general. And I want to apologize to you guys for being so hard on myself. I know it's something that I've struggled with during my entire journey is trying to be 100% perfect all the time. And I know there's no such thing as that. Um, so I just, I don't know. I feel like I need to apologize to you guys for being so hard on myself. I know that I'm hard on myself. I know how hard I am on myself, especially when I go back and I watch my vlogs and you know, whenever I vlog, I'm very in the moment and what my feels are and stuff like that. Like at the beginning of this one, I was telling you guys, how oh, I'm gonna try to see how long I can fast for. And then, you know, today I broke my fast at 34 hours because I was hungry. And actually today in general, I allowed myself to eat when I wanted and ate till I was full. And, um, you know, that's not something that I haven't been doing for sure. But today, for instance, I have been more hungry than I have been in a while. And I think my body needed that. My body was needing more food. So I allowed myself to eat up until I was full. And I know I'm going to be going to bed full. And I'm going to wake up tomorrow and get through the fasting day well because of that. Um, I might be bloated because I ate what I did today. And I ate as much as I did today. But I just kind of allowed myself to eat without feeling guilt. Um, you know, not necessarily something that I had done before was eat and feel guilty on my eat days. I'm just saying allowing myself to eat more, you know, a little bit more um, asparagus like what we had for dinner or, you know, I allowed myself some almond butter on a spoon or something like that. Something I haven't been allowing myself to do recently just because I've been trying to be so strict and harder on myself to make sure that I feel my best on June 27th. So today was a good day in a way. It was a good reset for me to be able to kind of uh, just really take a step back and look at myself, you know, while editing the vlog, you know, seeing how hard I am on myself and I need to calm down and realize that this is life and life goes on and I need to not be so hard on myself. I am gonna continue to do alternate day fasting for this month. Um, I'll probably do it for a while, you know, that's what I like doing. I like doing the alternate day. And like I said, I know I am hard on myself. So maybe later on down the road, I will look into doing OMAD or something like that. But you guys know how I am about OMAD. I always say I don't want to do OMAD because I like breakfast. Well, I haven't been eating breakfast anyways, so I might be able to do something like that instead. I just need to take a second to chill and relax and realize that's not the end of the world. And I'm going to fit into that dress and um, I'm being a little ridiculous and I know that, but I feel like I'm talking to like my friends right now as I'm straightening my hair. So, hi friends, but yeah, anyway, I guess I'll kind of talk about today in general. Um, after I got home from Instacart, I came home and had some crab cakes from Aldi. I believe I told you guys this already with some leftover salad mix. And then uh, Ian and I went on a really long walk, actually. I danced and then we went on a really long walk. I came home and rested for a little bit before going downstairs and running on the treadmill. I did about 20 minutes while watching Outlander because that's like my show that I like to watch. I got stars specifically for it. And I watched that and ran and then I came upstairs and I showered and cooked dinner. I grilled some marinated chicken breast that I got from the store. We had that with some asparagus that I got from the city market and it was huge. The spears were like ginormous. They're super, super big. Uh, made a lot. I probably shouldn't have made as much as I did, but they needed to be cooked. And um, I also made some white flesh sweet potatoes, which is something I hadn't had before that I got at Sprouts. And those were pretty tasty too, actually. I kind of liked them more than the purple ones that we had a couple weeks back. Um, so that's what we did for dinner. And then afterwards, I allowed myself to have some ice cream 
and I topped it with some of my All American Butter White Chocolate Pretzel Butter, which is bomb, you know, because I went some on it. So that's what I did for like a little dessert. And then I was really thirsty and I drank so much water and now I just feel bloated and bleh. If you've ever eaten a big meal and then you feel like super thirsty afterwards and you chugged a bunch of water, that's what happened to me tonight. So I don't know what I'm gonna look like or feel like tomorrow. I'm gonna try not to look in the mirror or care just because that's when I get really hard on myself too, is when I look in the mirror after eating, you know, a bigger meal the night before or whatever and seeing the bloat from the food. And that's when I beat myself up more than anything. So let's go back to refraining from picking myself apart in the mirror. Let's try to refrain from being so hard on myself going forward for the next couple weeks. I do still plan on doing that 72 hour fast that I talked to you guys about um, after my birthday weekend, you know. But going forward too, I just, I'm gonna be more conscious again on my foods. It seems like the social event really threw me off. Um, the one that we had this past weekend, I just, after all that, I just couldn't get back on track. So, I mean, and that was just a couple days. So I'm being, I guess that's ridiculous, you know. But anywho, that is what's happened so far. And as you guys can see, I'm currently straightening my hair. I'm almost done. And then I'm gonna go to bed and sleep on it. So I'm super smart, if you guys can't tell. I really just wanted to take some time to thank you guys who have reached out to me and tell me that it's okay and you guys will still follow me if I change up my schedule or whatever it is that I might be doing and um, you know you guys are there for me and I really really appreciate that it, it means a lot so thank you from the bottom of my heart you guys are the best you guys are why I do what I do and why I continue to share my journey and try to help as many people as I can and I know I've been a little bit more MIA recently on um, different social media accounts and stuff like that, but June is just a really big month for me. So I'm trying to, you know, focus on some other things in my life right now besides this. But anyway, guys, I think with all that being said, the hair sh straight as it's gonna get for the evening because I'll probably have to fix it tomorrow morning anyway, so I'm not gonna work on it too much longer. I'm gonna go ahead and sign out of today's vlog, tonight's vlog. Um, Thank you so much. And if I could thank every single one of you individually, I would, because that's how much you mean to me. So I love you all. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I really appreciate it. And I will catch you guys on the next one.